What makes for excellence in heart care? It starts with one of the most amazing teams of heart surgeons and cardiologists that I've seen assembled under one roof and the region's leading technology in a new $40 million facility. This is the nationally recognized Heart and Vascular Institute of Eastern Kentucky at Pikeville Medical Center. The Pike County Animal Shelter is at full capacity and they are hosting pet fairs around the community. Today we're having a pet fair at Rural King in Pikeville, Kentucky. We will be having many more throughout the county. We're trying to go to places in the county that gets closer to people so they don't have the long drive. The last pet fair saw 34 animals adopted and the fee to adopt is $20 for cats and $25 for puppies or dogs. If the animal isn't already spayed or neutered, a voucher will be provided upon adoption. We do have volunteers at the animal shelter. It would be nice if people came and walked dogs, if that's all they can do, or came and just took them out in the courtyard. We have a blocked in courtyard for people to um, play with the animals because I guess a tired dog is a happy dog. They need to work off that energy from being in a kennel all day. Along with accepting volunteers, the shelter also takes in donations during business hours, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. The one thing we, we hope everybody will do is start spaying and neuter their animals. I don't think people realize if, if a dog has one litter of puppies and there's four females in there, those four females can have 40 dogs in that next year. Adopting from a shelter helps weaken the pet overpopulation cycle. I walked into the pet fair today looking for a companion and I found Leon and he was the size one of the bunch. But I fell in love with him. If you are looking for your forever friend, the shelter will be hosting another pet fair Friday, March 10th at Pikeville Tractor Supply from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Reporting from Mountaintop News, I'm Ethan Miller.